everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Go ahead and put your city and state in the chat. Let us know where you guys are chiming in from. If you're watching in a Facebook group, make sure to include your name. We're going to be getting started in 13 seconds. everybody to Rhea Vision of Vont and I am so happy and grateful to be here guys. This is an edition of Wealthy Wednesdays and we have an incredible, incredible guest y'all, okay? I think some of y'all have heard of this young lady. She is doing some phenomenal things and if you haven't heard from her, honey, well, just grab a seat, okay? Grab a seat and get ready to take some notes. But listen, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out those of you guys who are watching us live. Shout out to Chappelle Rowe in Humble, Texas. What's going on, darling? We've got Tashia out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Dr. Kamika in Decatur, Georgia. We have Avalon, author Avalon out of, uh, no, Avalon South Braun, New Jersey. Oh, that's your name, child. In New Jersey. Okay, what's going on, darlings? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is an exciting day, such an exciting day. I pray that your Wednesday has been amazing, or if you're watching this on another day, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, any of those days, I pray that they're incredible for you. But listen, I'm going to go ahead and bring on our guest speaker. I have a crazy, crazy, crazy exciting guest. So y'all stay tuned as I introduce you to who we have on today. Dr. Stevie Mills, Stevie Aisha Mills, or just Stevie, whichever name you use to address this superstar, listen, y'all, she is sure to respond with grace, respect, and a smile. Stevie holds a unique, valuable space in the world. She loves God, business, and people. She is a rare combination of expertise, compassion, and high energy. Y'all, she has an insatiable work ethic. She is well known for her Southern drawl, loving her parents, Fred Mills' father and Karen Mills' mother, and being a gifted commu communicator and connector. Stevie is the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. She has positioned herself in the marketplace as the visibility coach. She has a knack for supporting women of faith to get seen. After many years of running from her natural flair and ability to boom the room, literally y'all, bring boom to the room, Stevie has come to realize that she is the it girl for teaching others how to be seen and heard. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. Stevie Aisha Mio. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on y'all. Let's do it with that. Yes, yes, Dr. Stevie Mills. What's going on, darling? Hello, hello, hello. Well, look, Dr. Oh, Stevie Mills, we are so excited to have you here. And I know that we didn't give you a, a detailed introduction as far as your accolades, everything that you have done, baby, because you have graced the stages and coached with individuals all over the world. If you could, though, tell us a little bit about who you are outside of the intro and how did you get into this space of showing people really how to show how to take what they know how to do and turn it into money. First of all, hold on real quick, real quick. Here comes the money. Hey! Here comes the money. Hey! 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 Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. See, I already knew Stevie was going to get down with the get down. <laughs> Okay, well, Dr. Stevie, go ahead and let everybody know a little bit about who you are and how you got into this place of where you are today. Hello, yes, hi, y'all. Shouts out to Taria, that is my sister coach. I call her that, she is amazing. Listen, I am Dr. Stevie, and I literally just am a Southern girl who is out here in this big old world. I tell people now that the I's in my name stand for increasing income. So I got into this whole thing because I've been broke. <laughs> and when you've been broke, you got to figure out a solution. And so God just showed me ways to help 
my clients to go ahead and make that money online so that no matter where in the world they can get seen and get paid. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, you know, again, and, and, and today we are literally here talking about how to be able to turn your skills, your expertise, your experience into ways to get paid online. And if it's one thing I can say that, and, you know, I can put my stamp of approval on this, you have definitely learned how to do just that. Now, I know that you are also, and, and we're going to get into some questions about getting paid and turning your expertise into that cash, but you also have some incredible titles amongst you. One being an author of now, I think, 30 books. Am I correct or am I correct, right? So tell us a little bit about your journey of authorship, right? And how you've been able to leverage your books because you know we're going to talk about that anyways, to be able to really get into a space of knowing who you are, who you are, and how to be able to use that to impact the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So these 30 books came from many of just life experiences, really honestly. Then I got to really connect with Taria. Y'all, I've been blessed. I thought about this the other day because she don't even do the book camp anymore i'm blessed because most of my books were birthed in the book camp or either through a collaboration with taria like real seriously so here's the thing for me i never really thought i would be an author i didn't think that was the thing that was going to be what it was for me but god had me do a collaboration book early on my first book um out of the 30 and then literally he just said keep going and now that i'm at 30 i'm like i think i'm gonna stop i think i i'm gonna stop 30 is good <laughs> but we gonna see what happens but i love leveraging my stuff on pages specifically the right book and that's something that taria taught not only me but so so many authors how to do and it makes a divine difference in that so that when you write the right book you can continually just be blessed financially, mentally, spiritually by putting your expertise and experience inside of the pages of a book. Mm, thank you so much. Absolutely. Listen, you know, and it's a way to just truly leave legacy, right? So you take that experience, put it into a book, learn how to monetize it. Hello. Right. And, and really leave the legacy of teaching others how to do what it is that you have done. Now, one of the things that I know that you are very passionate about is being able to help women of faith and helping women of faith to be able to monetize and create their businesses and learn how to do a lot of that online. If it comes to just regardless of who's watching men or women, what are, what would you say are three tips that you would give to someone who is looking to really learn what it takes to get that monetize, 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 Lord monetize, girl, say it for me. My monetization, monetization. <laughs> slow down to get the, try to say it too fast. <laughs> monetization. Um, but what are the three tips that you want to give to someone who wants to get the monetization in their business online? Awesome. The first tip definitely is to look at your gifts. Like what has God gifted you to do? What has he gifted you to do? What is the thing that you do unlike anybody else in the world? Then also look at your skills, right? Look at what you're skilled at. Some of us went to school. We are skilled and very proficient at certain things. And even if you didn't go to school, guess what? You can truly, truly take it to the next level because you know, there's a book called The Outliers, and they say that if you spend 10,000 hours doing one thing, then you're an expert. So you've done many things, I'm sure, for 10,000 hours. And then look at what you love to do. I'm a big fan of doing what you love to do. Like, I love to live a life without having to be committed all the way around. Like, I, I work very hard, but I also like to rest very hard. So look at your gifts. That's the first thing so that you can discover that if you don't know what your gifts are, honey, ask somebody who really cares about you and they will tell you your gifts. Right. And your gifts are could be anything like maybe you're a musician. Maybe you like to make some butter pecan pound cake. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. Your skills are what you have spent time in developing. Like for me, I have a skill set in public relations, a skill set in human resources. Those are my skills. And then look at the things that you love to do and what is it about you that makes the difference. Hold on. Girl, I'm over here taking notes. My bad. Okay. So so you, you were saying something, Stevie, and I, and I it's funny that you were talking about like identifying the things that you like to do, right? Because 
I was watching an interview. You know, I love watching my interviews on The Breakfast Club and uh, my YouTube interviews and so shout out to them. Maybe one day, y'all tag The Breakfast Club. Maybe one day they'll have us on there. But I was watching and Charlamagne was, they were talking, actually, it was something about Fat Joe and Fat Joe had did this broadcast where he was telling people like, at some point you gotta, you know, look at, you know, if this is your dream and your dream is not allowing you to profit from it, then maybe you need to, you know, at, hang it up or at least get a job so that you can still support yourself. And as you're talking to me about the things that you love to do, I think one of the challenges that I see a lot of times, Stevie, is that a lot of people are getting caught up in doing things that they want to do based on what they see others do versus things that they like to do and having a faith in God that he is, if he gives you the provision or if he gives you the vision or the excitement and the love, the love of a thing, he's also going to make sure that you get paid. Right. And so I know that you work with a lot of women. And one of the things I'm sure that you're always coming across is identifying for them, like what it is that they actually like to do. And can they really truly make money from it. So I just want to ask you sister, sister to sister, do you believe that every single one of us, if there's something that we're passionate about, something that God has given us a gift in that every single one of us can actually get paid from that, regardless of whatever it is, is that your belief? Yes, <laughs> it is. That's why I call it, it factor income. Like Ooh. literally I always say the it factor, cultivating your it factor, which was my first book. We cannot get to the click the cash, which is later on the 30th book, right? Click the cash volume three. We cannot get to that space without first knowing our it factor. And the it factor is the gifts, skills, talents, and abilities that blend and create the dynamic person called Y-O-U. So when you're in that, when you're looking at what your it factor is, that thing that makes you like, yes, I am the best, okay? When you're doing that, no matter what your skill set is that you feel proficient in, God has already blessed you. And when you look at this thing, part of my background, y'all, is PR, right? And so when you look at this thing and you think about what makes you different from everybody else, it literally is your it factor. So you doing what you love and when we look at dogs getting paid on YouTube to show up, a dog, y'all, getting paid on YouTube, especially in this thing of business now, then we have to look at the fact that if a dog could get paid, we could get paid, okay? Come on now. Come on now. I'm sorry. I ain't going to cut you off. I was just saying, <laughs> I'm with you on that. Heller, listen, y'all, <laughs> some of us, we overcomplicate this thing. Um, you know, Stevie, I've seen people get paid, like you said, get dogs getting paid. I've seen people get paid reviewing the weirdest things, like the weirdest waters or the weirdest foods. And so, you know, I think in this day and age, it's very easy to get caught up in the sauce, like I like to say, or you see that golden carrot, you see someone else that's over here doing a thing and they're making a tremendous amount of income. And we say, oh, well, I could do that too. Instead of staying focused on what it is God has called you to, because trust me, everybody has a journey everybody has a path your journey is going to be your journey but if you stick to it eventually what god has called you to do will make sure he'll make sure that you're also able to do this full time or however many times you want to do it and get paid let's talk about journeys though because you know stevie one thing about you is that you have stayed in this in this in in this journey of entrepreneurship in this journey of life You've stayed in a way where I've seen you go through the goods and the, and go through not so goods. And I've seen you go through the ups and some almost on, on the up. But how would you like to explain some of the challenges? Just you, a woman who's gone from nothing to making over six figures. What are those specific challenges that you want to share to our audience um, that you've had to overcome on your journey of entrepreneurship? Ooh, Lord. So... <laughs> <laughs> so on the way home, right, I was looking at uh, my car and remembering the day when my car, another car back in the day was repossessed. I pulled up to my home and remember the day I was evicted. I saw a picture of my dad today in Facebook memories and realized that last year, this time I was really in the grief journey. So repossessions, evictions, 
Bree, not knowing who the heck I am, right? That's where the if factor came from because I had to find mine. So really understanding that and really being like, God, I'll be cool with a paycheck. I don't need to be an entrepreneur. I will be good with a paycheck. Why are you placing me in this? So I know that my work as an entrepreneur is purpose built because that's who God has created me to be because I didn't choose it. So all of these things mixed and blended and really had me on this journey that I'm still on every day. Like, okay, Lord, I know it's your purpose. I know that I am supposed to be here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What what about if somebody feels like, you know, like, what can we say to the person, though, that currently is in that battle? Right. I mean, you, I always like to say, Stevie, we never out the battle. The battle's always going. As long as we live in, we always in the battle. But what about when the person that's right now, they say, OK, I hear what you're saying, Stevie, they sound cute and all, but it's not for me. It's not for me. I don't know why God keep on putting me through all of these challenges. I keep on believing for better. As soon as I take a step forward, I end up stay, taking three steps back. I don't think this is, ta I don't think you're talking about me or talking to me or talking for me. What would you say to that person right now that maybe, and, and this is co totally going all off subject, but I think it's important because I've even seen where, you know, even like myself or even like you, where we've had to sometimes take a step away and then get re back adjusted and come back. So what do you say to that woman or that man who's in that space right now? Ooh, all right. She's talking I'm getting deep today. Ministry, uh, well, she's talking ministry, huh? <laughs> the badge was about to come out. So this is what I would say. Honestly. Honestly, this is what I would say. So in the span of one year, one year, 365 days, right? Let's look, let's break it all the way down and be real. So not only did my father pass away, right? I had to face bankruptcy, right? My grandmother passed away. My income shifted. I'm literally rebuilding my life from this grief journey. So literally what I would say to that person, because this is a ministerial thing that we're going on, is pray first or seek first, whatever your belief is. You know, we believe in believers, but whatever your belief is, pray, meditate, whatever it is, go ahead and do that. And then cry. If you need to cry, it's okay. And then get up and become that person who you have been predestined to be even before you got on this planet. One of my favorite things to really stand on is God has already written my biography. All we have to do is continually turn the pages. And when we understand that and know that, then we are destined to say, okay, this is the fight is fixed. We know the end. We just have to keep going. And even in those moments where you're trying to be in a space and place, get in the community. That's why I love Book Profits Club because I was having a day the other day, but I got on the Book Profits Club and it felt better to be there. So you have to be in community because isolation can, can become something that happens. And isolation is trick of the enemy so that he can put you in a space and place where you are not doing what you need to do because you feel like whatever is happening in your life, you're the only one happening into that thing so that's not the truth but because you're not facing the truth and you're not healing from the truth then you're going to go forth and dwell in the lie and that's what i'll say mm. Ooh, come on now dwell come on dwell in the lie. listen stevie dropping some nuggets first of all she said god already created our book all we got to do is do what turn the pages turn the pages what does that mean get up every day keep going brush your teeth Put on a smile, even though you're crying. Keep going. It's, he already made the book. And you know what? Don't nobody like to read a book where everything just was up. Do yeah. they, Stevie? Does anybody no. like to read a book? Does anybody like to watch a movie where everything was just up? No. And so remember, we are creating a story that is going to be designed to be told years and years and years far after we are here. Stevie, so let's get back to business, okay? Because now what we do is, and again, you know, Dr. Stevie is going to help those individuals right now who want to learn how to take their expertise, their experience, and put this thing online. So who was your ideal customer, your ideal client um, that you would like to work with right now? The person that I love to work with definitely is a Christian woman, a praying woman, because, honey, we got to pray through this thing. I love my man, too, but I truly focus on Christian women who want to get seen and get paid online. Why do I want to do that? Because we know that with the Lord and with 
already our experience and expertise, we can make some things happen. So you already know your gift, skills, talents, and abilities. What I do is to help amplify that and package it for you so that you can create an online business. Okay, so come on now, Christian ladies. Where's my ladies at? Okay, uh, this is good. So if you guys are ready to learn how to do that, you want to make sure that you definitely want to plug into Dr. Stevie Mills, okay? Now, when it comes to getting seen and paid online, why is it important that you need to know who? I just had a little, I had a little excitement because we always talk about this right dr stevie we always talk about who is your ideal client so i just want to give a scenario because i'm gonna set it up for the, i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and help you to to finish off the alley-oop so somebody comes to you dr stevie and they say dr stevie aisha mills listen i see you're helping everybody learn how to get their stuff and get seen right and so i just want to help all women of the world i want to help all women of the world and then you tell me, Taria, I don't know if that's going to be an ideal mark, uh, audience. And then I say, why? Why can I say I want to help all women of the world? So Dr. Stevie, can you answer to me, why can I help all women when it comes to my marketing and trying to get seen and get everybody to come buy my products and services? Because all, <laughs> who is all? <laughs> Honestly, who was all one thing I could tell you literally in a firsthand testimony is I used to try to help all women too, right? That was my thing until I started making Facebook ads. And then when we had Facebook ads, you're going to spend more money trying to help all women because they don't know where to send your ad to. So you cannot help all women because that one woman who is looking for you, that one woman who you have a story to tell who could dynamically shift and impact her life, that's not all. They need to know that you are speaking directly to them. They need to know that they are hiding for me. I help people get visible. They need to know they're hiding with all that greatness going on. So when you need to help all women, then you have to re-examine that and help the one who God has chosen. Because not to get too preachy, but what did Jesus do, right? Jesus went after the one. So if he went after the one, we need to go after the one too, okay? Yes, ma'am. Come on now. Listen, y'all, it's plenty, of, 8 billion people in the world. That means every single day somebody is qualifying to be your new customer. Multiple people, multiple individual specific characteristics and things of that nature, y'all. Let's stop being afraid to niche it down. You know, you know, if anybody follows me, you know, I have a specific target audience as well. And I have found that, you know, by me understanding who I serve, it makes it so much more easier to just be myself. So like I could be myself and then attract my ideal audience because I'm being myself. And a lot of times my ideal audience is myself. So that was a little, little tidbit. Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills, I know you got some goodies and some gifts. And so if you could real quick, hook us up. What you got for us? What, what can we get for free? Cause you know, my people like free 99 and I know you get paid for what you do, but can you hook them up with a little <laughs> appetizer first? I got you. Just because I love Taria so much, I had to bring something great for y'all. Listen, 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 listen. So my favorite, formula, and I'm not the best at math, but I understand that visibility plus credibility equals cash. Again, visibility plus credibility equals cash. And so I have an absolutely amazing masterclass that is going to teach you how to increase your visibility, which is the art of being seen, honey, your credibility, that know, like, and trust factor. You mix that together and you make money, increasing income. So I have that complimentary for you today, and you just need to know how to spell my first name, S-T-E-V-I-I, -I, so that you can go to workwithstevie.com, workwithstevie.com, and you're going to get that greatness. I'm so excited for you to get visible. Yay, oh, thank hold you. on one, one second. I'm trying to put it on the screen. So tell them one more time what they're going to get. Okay. <laughs> You are going to go ahead and get that absolutely complimentary masterclass that's going to teach you how to go from hidden figure to becoming a household name out here. You are going to be seen and be heard and most importantly, get paid. So if you go to work with Stevie.com, I'm super excited for you to get that masterclass so that you can increase your visibility, your credibility, and yes, your cash. Hey, your visibility, your credibility, and yes, what she say, your cash. I think the 
this cause this 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 is a uh, uh, we need to have a good song come on real quick. So what we got to do? Hold Here on. Here comes the money. money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Hey hey hey. <laughs> dollar dollar dollar. Holla holla. All right, listen. So really. <laughs> What thing? Let me tell you something about Dr. Stevie Aisha Bill said that she like to turn up just like I do. So we gonna dance. That I can't wait to see her next weekend because we're gonna be turned up here in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, we got DJ Sway gonna be in the house, and I know he's gonna have us turned up. But listen, other than that, what last imparting words would you like to leave with our incredible audience on today? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Taria for inviting me here y'all okay this is called wealthy wednesday but guess what when you implement these things that we've been talking about today not only could you have a wealthy wednesday have a wealthy thursday friday saturday sunday okay and i always tell people at the end of everything i do to make it a great day don't have a great day make it a great day why because you 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 and yes you too have the power to do so Thank you so much. Hello, authors. Listen, really, really quick. This is a quick commercial, darling. Listen, if you are an author and you're trying to leverage your book so that you can grow your speaking, coaching, or network marketing business, I have a free training for you. Every Thursday, we have our book profits session that you can plug into. This is a free session where I'm literally showing you guys, and I'm live, how to be able to turn your book into at least three streams of income. My goal is to show 1,000 authors who want to generate at least $10,000 a month. Some want to do a day, some want to do a week, but at least $10,000 a month, how to be able to work two to four hours a day and make that happen. But you got to join the session so I can show you our system, okay? So go to bookprofitssession.com. The worst that can happen is if you don't like it, you got a free training. So register and I will see you guys there. Bye. All right, y'all, so that is today's edition of Wealthy Wednesday. I appreciate you guys for being here. Do you wanna be on Wealthy Wednesday? If you wanna be on this incredible show, this is all you gotta do. Join Book Profits Club because every single week we're looking for our Book Profits Club members. So listen, a lot of people say, how you know how who do you choose to interview us? We choose people who are already in our community. So make sure you plug in. Join us for the Book Profits session. You'll learn more about the Book Profits Club. That's free, so you can learn more about how you can be a part of BPC. But every single person that we highlight here on Wealthy Wednesday is a part of the BPC family. Till then, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next edition. May you guys have an incredible day. I pray that your day is full of peace, prosperity, and happiness, and everything in between. All right, y'all. I'ma holler at y'all later. Bye.